Hey y'all, welcome to Receiving Relate. This is your first time here. My name is Tara Walker. I'm so glad you clicked on this video for story time. If you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, hey. If you just somebody that's popping back in, hey y'all, hey. Y'all, so fun fact, I knew Tank before he was Tank. Yeah, yeah, fun fact, right? Real true story. Tank, aka Mr. Babs, is how we were introduced to him. Uh, was our like like he was like an assistant gospel choir director for a certain amount of time. So the school that I went to, which was Frederick Douglass High School in Upper Marlboro, Maryland, um, my junior year, my choir director brought uh Mr. Babs, aka Tank. And um, to assist us with some with some teaching us some songs for te temporarily, right? And um, he's handsome today. He was just as handsome then, right, as he is today. And I'm telling you, the girls was swoon, especially the seniors, swoon. And I mean, when he was, he was, he was fine. That I mean, we, I can't even, you know, I can't even lie. He was fine to us, but they was swoon over him, like. Um, every time he would come in and he would smile. He was very nice. He was very nice, very friendly. I remember him being very nice and very friendly, not too over the top, not too, too friendly, obviously, because we was underage compared to him, but he, he didn't give that type of, you know, he didn't give that type of, um, per perverted, you know, type of vibe or whatever. He just was, he just seemed really, really nice. And, um, I remember cause I'm short, right? So I've always, any choir that I've been in, I'm always on the front row. And so, like, he's, like, right here to me. But most of the seniors taller than me or whatever, they're above. They're at the top the, the top of the, uh, you know, the stands that we... Because we even in choir, in choir rehearsal, we stood on the stands. And um, I just remember them always screaming, like, oh, my goodness, I wonder, is he married? Is he? Does he have a girlfriend? I was hearing, like, all of this in my ear, like, them whispering um about him and stuff like that but um like i said he was like right here to me and yeah, i was super shy and stuff back then so even if we were of age i just always assume you know he he ain't gonna like the big girl anyway didn't matter but i just when i just thought i just got a kick out of years later when he came on the scene in the r&b scene with the gangster lean with the name tank i'll never forget the first time i see them on tv and i was like and you know how you turn your head and you squint like you like you tripping i said that's mr babs yep so tank aka mr babs was my quiet was our not just my me directly choir director for a short period of time he just came in a few times it wasn't even like the whole year from what i remember it wasn't even like the whole year but i just think that's so cool and i thought that was cool so i just thought i would just share that little information which uh yes this story is in the book and so this is really quick that was it that was it tank was my choir director a lot of people don't know he started out with gospel before he went to r&b uh fun fact for some of y'all that may not know that okay so yeah that's it if you like this story and you want and you want to come back for more please come back please come back i encourage you to come back like share and subscribe send this to somebody share if you care uh remember people receive and if they can relate uh this and other stories are in my memoir cage girl link in the description box below uh if you like to sew into the ministry the information is in the inbox below i love you but know that god loves you more see you next time bye